this video, we will be walking through Tenable's provisioning portal, which allows customers to directly assign IPs and assets to their purchase consoles and containers, and also to create Nessus agent managers. To access the portal, head to provisioning.tenable.com and log in using your community account credentials. When you first log in, you'll land on the Tenable SC page. The flows for Tenable SC and Tenable SC CV are the same, so we'll just walk through the steps for Tenable SC followed by those for Tenable IO. What's displayed here are all the parent license codes you have for Tenable SC, in this case just one. And you can see the total number of IPs and consoles that you have under each parent license. When you click on a particular parent license code, you will see all the child consoles that are grouped under that parent. To create a console, use the Add Console button in the upper right, optionally set a label, and either use the slider bar or type in an IP count to set the number of IP. To edit a console, hit the three dots, select Edit Console, and then use the slider bar again or type in your number of IPs to adjust the IP count. If you reduce the number of IPs, those will be freed up to be used on another console. You can also delete a console using the Delete Console button. Once you've created a console, you will need to click on this link to go to the products page in Community so that you can set the hostname and download the key file. Note that whenever you edit a console size, you will need to re-download the key and upload to the respective host for those changes to take effect. Also keep in mind that it might take a minute or two for a new console to show up in Community. We also allow you to create Nessus Agent Managers through the provisioning portal. While you can purchase standalone Nessus Agent Managers, we allow you to create one on-prem agent manager per child console, as well as one cloud agent manager per parent license. To create an on-prem Nessus Agent Manager, click on the three dots and select Add On-Prem Agent Manager. Your Nessus Agent Manager will then appear in Community. Alternatively, to create a single cloud agent manager associated with your parent license, navigate to the Cloud Agent Managers tab and use the Add Cloud Agent Manager button on the upper right to create your agent manager. Just note that you will be asked to specify a unique email address as is required for the creation of any cloud container. Now let's review how to create a Tenable I.O. container. The flow for Tenable I.O. is similar. Click on Tenable I.O. on the left and you'll be directed to this page, which lists all the parent license codes you have for Tenable I.O. When you click on a particular parent license code, you will see all the child consoles associated with that parent code. Note that in this case, child consoles are synonymous with Tenable I.O. cloud containers. When you create a console in the provisioning portal, a cloud container is spun up on the fly and thus you will be asked to specify a unique email address for the Tenable I.O. container. You will also be given the UUID for the container. As with Tenable SC, you can create, edit, and delete consoles, and you can shift assets from one to another. And that is it. Just a few minutes and your new Tenable product is provisioned.